Hi there, this is Alvin with kickstartcommerce.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to actually give you a two for one special. So one, I'm going to show you how to um, add a minute reading time. So something along the lines of what you see here on my website to where we're going to add a reading minute time for your content so that users know likely what they're getting into when they're about to click the link to read your content. So they want to know whether or not it's going to uh, how long it's going to take them to read the post. Uh, two is that we're going to actually add a progress bar when they actually land on the page so that they know. So if you're doing long uh, content or long form content as it's somewhat recognized, so meaning anything really above probably I'd say 3,000 words. So if you're writing 7,000, 10,000 word post, typically like tutorial post or something like that, then it's quite a good idea. Or if you're using like a list, so let's say you do like a top 10 that's pretty lengthy um, or a top 100, you want to kind of clue users or readers in on how far they have to go until they complete reading the um, article or scrolling the page. So that being said, I'm going to use a good friend's website, um, engagingwifesmoments.com. And so essentially what we'll go ahead and do is go into, go ahead and log into your WordPress uh, website and go to the dashboard area. And within the dashboard area, what you will do is go to plugins and you can go click add new. And the WordPress plugin that we'll use to get this two for one special going is called Worth the Read. And so we'll type that in and then allow it to search. And I've already activated it on this website. Uh, but what you would do, you likely are seeing an install now button. You go ahead and install that now. And then once it installs, you click active uh, or activate and it'll be active. Then on the left hand side, once it's installed and successfully activated, then you will click the worth the read there on the left hand menu. And it brings you to this dashboard page which then all you have to do is you can go back here to the reading progress. So this is how the bar works. Um, it literally tells you all the different functionality and all you're doing is pointing and clicking and moving based up on your uh, website. That being said, to turn display on of the bar on your post, you just click those things and they turn blue. So for instance, if we wanted it on pages, we could have it on pages, we're not. We're just going to add it to the post. Um, so you have post, pages, home page, and then if you have custom types, you may need to click whatever button is there, whether it's post, pages, home page. You'll need to click that and then just read the note that's there. You can include comments in terms of uh, the progress bar length. You can do different placements, so top, bottom, left, right. You can also set the offset, which if you have menus, um, that scroll with the page, you'll probably need to set this offset. As you can see, I had it set it um, for this website, which I'll show you here momentarily. You can fix the opacity, so whether, you know, whether I guess the transparency or the opacity of the actual bar itself, whether or not it's on for touch devices, so tablets, phones, I typically leave that off. And then you can also do content offset if your theme calls for it. You'll have to likely play with the slider here to uh, get that. Next up is the style. So the style here, I've changed the thickness. The default thickness is 5. I've changed it to 20. Um, the foreground is also a default of orange. I changed it to green. And you can also check transparency if you, transparent if you want to. I didn't. Uh, I left the foreground opacity as is, background as is, comment, everything, pretty much comments background, transparent background, everything as is default. Only thing I changed um, here was the muted foreground to match the uh, foreground that I, that I chose here. Last but not least is the time commitment. So you'll want to turn this on for your post and feel free to turn it on for your pages if you want. You got to click it and turn it blue. For now, for this uh, tutorial, I've just chosen to do post. I've also included the post there. I've placed that uh, the read time right before the content, um, just because on this theme, the title actually occurs at the very top, and you're not gonna 
you know, it wouldn't be good to place the minute before. Your minute um, read time really needs to be right there before the content. If your title and content are together, then it may make sense to do a before or after, but you'll see here momentarily why it won't make sense for this blog. You can also set the words per minute. The average is 200, so we'll just set that to 200 and just see what it does. There's the format, um, and you just put in blank, minute, read. Um, you can put in minute, minutes, whatever you want. Be sure to include the placeholder for the number. That's the only way it'll know how to add the number. And then leave the count method as is, not unless you want to count spaces too, which I don't recommend. Um, you can block uh, whether or not it floats the label next to anything, um, you know, just to make it its own line. I left that off. Pretty much you save those settings, save each of those. And then once you go to the blog, which you can see here, so see how that um, our header is staying put. So typically that bar would show up here momentarily when we go to a blog post. So we'll go to the Sarah Parker Redmond post. And what you'll see, a couple of things, you won't see the bar or rather you'll see the bar here at the top and it's just opaque. Here's the title and this is like I was telling you, you don't want to place the read time before it or you don't want to place it after it, you want to place it here, right there before the content so as a person starts reading they know, oh, this will be a two minute read. As they begin to scroll, so I'll click and scroll. Then you can see the bar changes. So the bar is at the very top. Well then, once I start scrolling, you see it changes itself to be right there below this uh, fixed um, navigation bar. And you can see it's already green. So as I scroll down, it's basically alerting you how far you are in terms of being having read or completed the read on this page. And so as you scroll, the bar goes all the way across and then once you get to the very end the bar basically reads that you know you're done you can include like I said comments there I didn't in this and even if you scroll back up it basically takes that back off so in short that's how you get uh, one the read time in terms of a blog post as well as um, the progress scroll bar for your blog post. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave me um, questions below the video there as well. Please subscribe to my Kickstart Commerce YouTube channel. And last but not least, please visit kickstartcommerce.com and subscribe using the sign up uh, form on the right side of the page so that you can receive the daily scoop of when I release videos, which is every Wednesday after, uh, not afternoon, but every morning, um, every Wednesday morning. And so subscribe there on the YouTube channel as well as the email newsletter so that you are the first to know about uh, my search marketing, WordPress tips and tricks, and domain name investing strategies to grow your business. So I hope this tutorial helps. Thanks, and that's all for now.